Okay, in this tutorial we're going to go over how we code uh, text in order to do a qualitative analysis. And uh, this is a completely different type of data analysis than would be the case with quantitative data, for which we'd use a, a spreadsheet and a, some kind of software program like SPSS or PSPP, the open source version. Uh, so what we do is we, we have here a text document, or a document full of text, and the goal of a qualitative analysis uh, at least one of them would be to go through the text and identify some of the key themes. And uh, <clears throat> there's two approaches to this. One is uh, to kind of go through and find, say for instance, the frequency of times uh, that a word is used or something like that, which would be a more quantitative approach. And the alternative would be uh, looking at larger swaths of text and trying to pull out larger themes and, uh, and appreciating the context of each comment. So <clears throat> let's take a look at the first paragraph here. A major concern of interviewing individuals who have been a part of historical event is that they are difficult to study. So right there we've, we've got an idea. We can start making a couple comments in the margins here. Uh, difficult to study. Uh, historical events, uh, actually individuals. Yes, okay. In addition, it is often difficult to create a solid case study. Another concern I would have is the relationship that I develop with the group I'm interviewing. Okay, so there's another idea there. Relationship with uh, group is a concern. Uh, I would I would use overt participation to help build my trust without engaging my opinions. Okay, overt participation that means revealing your identity as a researcher. Finally, I would have to make sure that my notes and findings were not based on my personal and emotional experience from the interviewing. Okay, so uh, let's something about keeping subjective views in check. Okay, people often feel impacted by Katrina even though they were not a New Orleans resident at the time. All right. Now the next paragraph, let's make a couple notes about that one. I'm just going to go down there. After, after I make some notes, I'm going to eventually create some shorthand codes. And uh, we can go through an entire document. I'm not going to do that. Just This is for a less illustration only. Uh, but this is kind of the process I like to use, which is first kind of whittling it down to some core ideas and then taking those core ideas and making some codes. But first we have to get a sense of what those core ideas are. The type of interview I would conduct would depend on the direction of my research. Do I want to study how an individual reacted to Katrina or how it impacted them? So here we're, we're basing research design on questions. So there's an idea. Do I want to study how an individual reacted to Katrina or how it impacted them? Or do I want to study how groups uh, were affected and how they reacted together. In my opinion, a focus group would be better because it would encourage participation. If one interviewee is feeling nervous about discussing the topic, another interviewee may give them courage. Okay, so interviewees encourage each other and focus groups. Uh, focus groups would create a natural setting. On the other hand, the focus group makes confidentiality hard to accomplish. Okay, an individual may not be entirely honest about their experience if they f fear being judged. Okay, so focus groups do not promote confidentiality or uh, necessarily honesty. <coughs> uh, 
Okay, so let's look at the next one here. Make a few notes about the next uh, paragraph or two, and then I'll begin to make some codes. I think an in-depth interview of individuals would work better than a, uh, in a group because some people get influenced to follow what others are saying. That actually sounds more like a focus group. So probably in-depth focus group interviews. Okay, my concerns of the interview would be their feelings on the rescue relief during and after Katrina. Okay, so concern probably about rescue relief. So there's a the research question that they would be interested in pursuing. Uh, I would ask them questions regarding New Orleans law enforcement response time and relief efforts of the National Guard and other volunteers. Okay, role of National Guard and police. Uh, I would ask if they thought there was enough notice in advance to evacuate or prepare for the hurricane. Okay, advance notice and preparation. Okay, was there enough personnel to help with people in immediate danger? Uh, I would ask what they experienced when the, when the hurricane came to their area and how they reacted. Okay. How did they react to hurricane? Uh, did they have food, water, and shelter? <coughs> okay, so were they prepared with basic necessities? Okay, did they think it was going to be as bad as it was, or did they think it was nothing to worry about? So maybe their level of concern at time. Uh, what what did they do after the effects? Did they get back to see the damage to their home? Okay, so their experience after the hurricane. Did they try to rebuild? Okay, so rebuild the damage. All right. Now, if we go back, it occurs to me that maybe research questions are now an important thing to think about. And so maybe up here, there's a couple of questions. Do I want to study how an individual reacted or how it impacted them? Or do I want to study how groups were affected and how they reacted? Okay, so maybe something about those research questions. So impact on individuals in groups and their response. Okay, let me do one more paragraph over here, take some more whittled down notes. I do not think a focus group is vital in this situation because some people had different views on the rescue effort. Okay, so not focus groups. Uh, although this sounds a little bit like focus groups up here they're they're now making a distinction so I'm gonna even though it sounds like there's a description of a focus group here it's not so I'm gonna put that in parentheses as a question mark now with a question mark I do not think a focus group is vital in this situation because some people had different views okay I'm not sure why that's a disadvantage some people believe the government did not perform well in notifying the public uh, in enough time and it could have been prevented it could have prevented a lot of deaths. Okay, government response. However, some people believe the government did all they could and they were just happy to be alive and have their families safe. Okay. People are glad to be alive or safe. Okay. Using exploratory questions will help seek out what people are thinking or how they thought about Hurricane Katrina so the researcher is not testing pre-formulated hypotheses. Okay. So maybe something about inductive process can emerge. 
That's ironic. That's kind of what we're doing with this coding, huh? Okay, creative interviewing is a technique that can be useful when conducting an in-depth interview of survivors of Hurricane Katrina. It is a purposeful, situated interview that gives the researcher the ability to increase the discovery of the truth from people involved in the hurricane and embraces the immediate and concrete situation. This type of interview engages the researcher to be active with their subjects and listen and learn about personal approaches. Okay, so researcher as active listener. Okay, so I, I think that's enough. So what I do is after I've got a few notes over in, in the margins as I start to make codes, right? So if I go through the coding, you see difficult to study individuals from historical events, relationship with group is a concern. It seems like the way the researcher relates to the subjects is it's something that comes across uh, some of the text from two of these different posts. So maybe something about relationships, relationships to concern, and down here, uh, researcher as active listener. <coughs> so I'm thinking we need a code. And the way we, we do that in Word is review new comment, and uh, we can make our codes over here. So concern for subject researcher relationship. Okay, and I'm gonna say the same thing goes up here. Okay. Now this, is another thing would be the, the particular method people identify, focus groups are identified here. And down here we have in-depth interviews. <clears throat> and also not focus groups, right? But uh, because they're discussing focus groups, I would probably make a note of that here as well. So what we do is we go through, and after, after we've gone through an entire document and made these types of notes, we'll have a, a set of kind of whittled down codes. And with that, we'll be able to make some summaries about all of this text, right, without having to actually... Uh, carry all that around in our heads, right? We just want to kind of whittle it down to the core themes and ideas. So uh, research questions, I think, was another one, right? What kind of research questions would people ask if they were going to do research on Hurricane Katrina? Okay, I'm going to just copy that, and then I'm going to come down here. There's a series of research questions asked here. I would ask them, and then it continues down all the way down here. Right, so the whole thing there is research questions. Right. All right. So let's see if kind of getting a good chunk of uh, of the text kind of whittled down. We go through the whole thing. I'm not going to do that here because that'd be very time consuming. As you can see, this is, does take some time. And eventually, as I said, you can just kind of go through these codes and make a report. You know, these are the core themes. Uh, people who participated in this discussion uh, had, a, had a range of different research questions they would like to ask, and the, the methods they would use uh, correspond to those research questions. And uh, another theme would be the concern for the subject researcher relationship, so on and so forth. And that's the way you do qualitative analysis.